Hi folks, it's Hugh here from Web Dimensions and today we're going to take a look at ICC Keyworks which is one of our awesome products. We're going to see what ICC Keyworks is, find out just what it does and where it fits in with all of our other products. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. When designing websites, we really need to start somewhere. and Usually that's with some kind of topic, idea, or phrase, like a keyword. And with keywords, you can find those kinds of phrases and then grow them into multiple related phrases designed to draw traffic from existing search volume. We can also do other things with keywords like finding high paying keywords for AdSense clicks. And we can use these phrases as building blocks for a new blog and visually design the blog structure with keywords. Then we can create the blog with the click of a button using our companion plugin, Silo Factory. There are a lot of keyword research programs out there. But I want you to know that Keyworks is not just a keyword research program. It has some search functionality, but it's also used for organizing search results, identifying profitable keywords, and then visually assembling them into a siloed structure that can then be transferred to a new blog or an existing blog to start the blog with the best possibility of attracting traffic right away. Once the blog is implemented, ICC Express and our other software will be able to tap directly into the traffic channels of the blog for laser targeted content creation, pulling more traffic and visitors and Google rankings to your site quickly. But ICC Keyworks does work on a Mac or a PC but you must have Adobe Air installed on the computer and you can get it at the URL that's listed on the screen. The installer comes as a .air file. If it shows up as a zip file then please rename it to .air and do not unzip it under any circumstances. Change it to .air and install it with Adobe Air. Now ICC Keyworks runs in trial mode for 14 days and then you'll require a license key. ICC Keyworks interfaces directly with our other software ICC Express's database. In fact, the two are integrated so they work together really well. And then you can easily sign up for a Google AdWords account. Just go to google.com slash AdWords and then we'll use AdWords to search keywords that we can then import into the software. Another account that you probably should pick up is the SEM Rush API subscription. And you can access that from links that are inside the software. And it's really inexpensive at around $15 a month for tons of data calls. So it's really quite equitable and quite worth it to add some extra functionality to the software. First you're going to create a profile if you don't have any. Chances are if you've been working with our other software ICC Express you may already have profiles created and you can just use them because they'll show up right in the program as depicted in this image. Now your profile consists of a friendly name to identify it, a WordPress blog address, and the login and password to that WordPress blog. Keyworks will connect directly to a Silo Factory plugin that is installed on the blog that's contained in the selected profile. As you create your projects in ICC Keyworks, you must assign a profile to the project in order to contact your WordPress blog. Please be careful. Now I'm talking about the Silo Factory, which is sort of the right hand of ICC Keyworks. And obviously this is not about the Silo Factory, but we do want you to use them both together. 
And if you do, please note that if you execute any operations from Keyworks to your blog using the Silo Factory, it will alter the existing website. For that reason, we recommend, at least at first, that you use Silo Factory only on new or test blogs and websites to avoid unwanted changes to an existing blog. Now that you've got Keyworks installed and configured with a profile and you can create a project and then you can look for keywords. You can use ICC Keyworks to obtain keyword ideas and statistics. And here are all the different ways that we can get our keywords into the program. We have programmed in the SEM Rush Google Data Search API. If you do have the API subscription that I mentioned earlier in the video, then you can search directly from within Keyworks to SEM Rush database. This does bring you back a lot of keywords and you can also target specifically the Google Data Center country, whether it's the United States, the UK, France, Spain, Italy, Singapore, whatever uh, Google Data Centers that they have around the world, you can select which one you want to get your keywords from. However, SEMrush does not provide global search data. And for that, we recommend that you import Keyword Planner CSV export files. So what you're going to do in that case is you're going to go to google.com slash AdWords in your browser. You're going to log into Google and use the Keyword Planner to search for your keywords. And you can get a lot of great keywords that way. We'll go over some tutorials on how to do that but it's fairly intuitive and once you've gotten some keywords in the keyword planner then you can just download them into a CSV file. And you can download up to I think 800 keywords at a time so you can do a lot of searches and download a lot of keywords into CSV files then you can just upload those CSV files right into Keyworks on the get keyword screen as you can see and this image where it says browse for CSV file, all you have to do is browse to the file, select it, and it will be imported in front of your eyes into Keywords. There is another way to get Keywords as well with Keywords for which you do not need an AdWords account, and you do not need an SEM Rush account, and that is to use what we call the Keyword Explorer screen to explore suggestions on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. By using the Keyword Explorer, you get a lot more long-tail keywords than the regular search. Even in the Keyword Planner, I must say that these keywords come back a lot more interesting in the Keyword Explorer. However, they do not have statistics attached to them when you use the Keyword Explorer. So what you can do if you do have this SEM Rush API subscription, you can download the statistics right into your explored keywords. To be honest, not all of those keywords have data attached to them in SEM Rush. They're not all carried in SEM Rush's database. So some of them will have statistics and some won't, but you can get a lot of great ideas using the keyword explorer screen. And you can also save all of those. Using those three methods to get keywords into the program, you can then save those searches in waves of keywords and you can open the save searches and open the imports that you've saved and analyze them again, go through them, apply filters and pick keywords and then add them to your project. The ultimate goal of this is to design your website silo hierarchy with bookmark keywords that you chose using your special criteria that we allow you to do in ICC Keyworks. Once you have selected and saved those keywords to your project, then you can use this awesome drag and drop hierarchy designer in the projects tab to design a visual hierarchy or silo that you will then create on your blog. What you're going to do is you're going to create your website with your highly selected organized silo hierarchy that you visually designed with Keyworks 
And once you've designed that hierarchy, then you can do two different things with it. You can export your hierarchy to a file, and then you've got it in a file. You can actually take the contents of that file and then paste it into our Silo Factory plugin and execute it directly on the blog to create a brand new website exactly as you designed it in ICC Keyworks. Or you can interface directly with the Silo Factory plugin with ICC Keyworks. And that will allow you to create the hierarchy on the blog automatically with Keyworks just by clicking the Execute button in the Operations section of the Projects tab. Now here are a few strategies and techniques that we put together to give you some ideas of what you might want to do or how you might want to use Keyworks. These are by no means all the possible strategies. There are tons of them, but here's like two or three just to help you get started. Strategy number one involves trying to find keywords that have high search volume but low competition. In a way that's sort of assuming that the AdWords competition field has to do with the number of people that are trying to rank websites. And in fact, that's not really the case. It in fact could possibly indicate that nobody's figured out how to make money with those words and maybe you can do that. But it also might just indicate that no one has thought of those words yet. There are a lot of words out there that no one is tackling yet, believe it or not. So what you're gonna do to find these high search volume, low competition keywords, get your keywords, search them, import them, or open a saved results set, and then apply filters. For example, you could apply a filter with a search volume above 1,000 in low competition. And then that would reveal just the keywords that have that corresponding data. So you would find, isolate, and identify keywords that have nice size search volume but low competition. Then you would check the top four Google results. And you can do that in the Analyze screen of our software. And you can see what's coming up in Google to get an idea of whether or not you might be able to provide content that will dominate in that niche. If the top four slots on Google are perhaps some weird file name or it has that keyword but a complete misinterpretation of the meaning of the word. On the other hand, if I put that term in and all I saw were some like strange looking file names and really nothing coming up, you can pretty much tell that you could jump on that right away and dominate it. So what you want to do is you want to find a bunch of keywords like that, create a list of these kind of keywords, and try to get an exact match domain if you can on the main one. After you've analyzed everything really well, then you organize those keywords into an awesome silo and you execute it to your new blog. Once you've done that, then you just channel the content with ICC Express or one of our other tools. And you're all set. You're on your way to getting traffic. Now here's another strategy, which is where instead of looking for just search volume, we are actually trying to make money with AdSense. So what we're looking for now are high CPC or high suggested bid keywords. We also want to make sure they have some search volume if we can and also low competition because if they're high paying keywords with low competition, first of all, if they're high paying, that means a lot of people want to advertise in that category. But if there's low competition but a high CPC, that means that not many people can really afford to pay for that. So you might be able to jump on that, get some content out there and with AdSense and then get some clicks. So if you can provide good content in that niche and Google recognizes that you have good content for that, then they're going to reward you with traffic. And then if you, they reward you with traffic and you have some AdSense on there and you can get some high paying clicks. So what we're going to do to get that is we're going to apply some filters in the search results. And that would mainly be low competition, you know, search volume above a certain level, maybe a thousand, maybe more whatever you're looking for, whatever you can get, and put your uh, CPC uh, above 
maybe five dollars or something you know see what you can find out there so once you can find isolate and identify these keywords that have high cpc high search volume and low competition like i said they're not easy to find but you can find them if you look hard enough and it also depends on you know the niches that you're looking for I try and stay away from the well-beaten path you can find a lot of things that other people might not have thought of so what you do is you create a list of these high paying keywords that you find this way create a nice list of them related to each other get them organized then try to find yourself an exact match domain on one of these and hopefully the main one that you that you're trying to target here <clears throat> you organize everything into an awesome silo and execute it to your new blog and then just channel content with ICC Express or one of our other tools like Viral Video Curator Pro, which is also awesome. And now here's the third strategy, and here's we, we start getting into some esoteric concepts, and Google's made these things very difficult by taking away the broad and phrase match, so we have to try to synthesize that in a way. The way we could synthesize that is by getting long tail keywords with low competition and the good search volume whose volume is just a small fraction of the main related keyword. For example, dog training, let's say that would be the main related keyword, and it has a huge search volume. Now, while we don't know what the broad or phrase match is anymore, we can imagine that it's pretty huge and that the exact match is also pretty huge too. But what we want to do is select phrases that contain this hugely searched phrase but might not have been exploited as a traffic source. And we do that by getting, you know, what we call the long tail keywords. Try to find the long tail keywords that contain the main phrase, which is dog training. So possible variations of that we could come up with, for example, dog training with electronic clicker or police dog training in Cincinnati, or you know, use your imagination, but there's a couple of examples for you. Now what we would do then is we'd analyze those phrases and see if they have any kind of exact match volume, hopefully greater than 100 in SEM Rush because SEM Rush is local, and hopefully greater than 1,000 in the Keyword Planner because the Keyword Planner is exact global. So hopefully we look for even more than that. And then we're going to check the top four Google results for those terms and see if there are four commercial websites or blogs, you know, ranking for those terms up at the top. And if they're not, if it looks pretty sketchy about what's coming up in Google, then you think you probably have a pretty good chance of dominating if you really target those long tail keywords with setting up your silo the right way and getting your content laser targeted into that blog and just start putting it out there. And that's how we do it. So once we've identified the strategy with our keywords and we found our main keyword, we're just gonna get that list of similarly parameter keywords and assemble them into our new silo. We're gonna try to get an exact match domain for the main topic long tail keywords such as police dog training cincinnati.com or dog training with electronic clicker.com. You're only gonna do that after you're sure those are good phrases to go after. And you're gonna have to do, you know, it's a little bit of analysis. Our tool makes it easy for you to do that analysis though. So once you've done that, you've got your EMD you're going to set up your blog with your siloed hierarchy and you're going to curate laser targeted content with our other software tools and do all the other things to build your blog's presence online. There are many strategies you can use with ICC Keyworks and these are just a few and I'm looking forward to hearing ideas from the people in our group and seeing what other people can come up with with this because I really think the sky is the limit with this. Well I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Please check the Keyworks archives for more highly targeted technical training on the software. This is Hugh out. I will talk to you soon.